Uh, this is the frame mounted down on some uh, pieces of MDF. I've got three pieces of 16mm MDF just laying on the concrete floor to create a bit of a flat patch. And then I've built up a couple of boards at each end out of pieces, layers of chipboard that have all been screwed together and screwed down. And then the frame itself is bolted down in four corners using mounting points that were probably for the uh, racking system on it but they're quite sturdy locations on four corners which holds the thing down flat and there was a bit of a twist in between the front and the rear of those hold down points currently it, one corner pops up maybe four, five or six millimeters uh, across the diagonal but I think with the welding I'm doing it might start to sort that out as well and that four or five millimeters ultimately won't bother me too much given the problems that this frame had now so the twists that were in this frame were caused by a big impact in this area pushing uh, well possibly from that side pushing pushing this structure across and this structure is connected to the main frame. I've cut these pieces out um, on through there because I reckon it's chrome molly tube and there's no, no uh, way I could see of uh, getting it to uh, give it all. So then those top tubes were uh, connected with pieces uh, like that which I've, I've also removed from both sides um, there, there was obvious distortion through here and here and in these lower tubes so all these pieces were cut out to, to give me the ability to try to realign this section which is obviously on the ground on the lower side and also the upper suspension port points were also belted out of alignment about 10 millimeters this way uh, i could work the 10 millimeters this rod prior to the modifications i've made now would not go through both those clevises like it is now it was out of alignment by at least 10 millimeters same on the other side because that bar there joins both sides together and there's a bar at the front there joining both those front clevises together so this frame coming up from here which continued on round to here uh, with as a one continuous tube was belted out of alignment by at least 10 millimeters it's had to be pushed this way 10 millimeters to get this bar to go back in now pushing that 10 millimeters sideways was it just wanted to spring back here i couldn't lever it i couldn't do anything with it so what i've done is i put a saw cut through here i figure that piece is forming like a parallelogram I put a saw cut through here I put a saw cut three quarters of the way through here that's just three quarters of the way through uh, on the side that it needed to bend towards so that that cut's going to close up once it moves similar arrangement on this other side uh, with a saw cut here this time in from the bottom the other side was in from the top and uh, a saw cut through here in from this side because the thing had to come this way and uh, that's how those cuts would I believe close up if it uh, moves moved across in fact it did move across quite easily after all the frustration of it swinging and, and springing back I, I was getting it to move 20 millimeters with a big lever but it would always spring, spring back to the zero point 
So with those four cuts in that, I was able to bring this section across the 10 millimeters. And then on the top here, this rectangular section here, it's looking fairly rectangular now. It used to look more like a parallelogram, probably also 10 millimeters out of alignment. And uh, the way I've addressed that to some extent is again, I've cut, cut in from opposite corners, depending on what sides needed to open up and what sides needed to close up. The, the, I figured the weld, after I'd cut it, the new weld would shrink the uh, cut together and uh, help bring this parallelogram back to square, this uh, back to rectangular like it is fairly well now. Now there's still a bit of a twist in that top box, you can tell I've got bits of rod coming through there. That's the lower one here, which is pretty much parallel to the center line now that this center has been moved. And this one, you can see, I think in the picture even, it's still out of alignment. Uh, it, I've, I've moved it a reasonable distance, but it's still over the length of that rod there uh, perhaps three millimetres from one end to the other out of, out of parallel to that rod, which I think is pretty close. I'm uh, at this stage going to reconnect this original tube with, with a new corner piece that I'll bend up and same over this side. And, and so make that rigid and then try to address this section being still slightly on the piss. Uh, it may require another couple of cuts just below those brackets there to get a uh, bit of movement in the tube. The tube itself just doesn't seem to want to bend uh, at all while it's in the full section. Uh, it's, I'm cutting it back to three quarter cutting a cut three quarters of the way through to get it to bend and it bends quite successfully and i'm having a chicken shit weld over where i've cut to uh, repair it uh, it's basically tacked back and i'm getting somewhere slowly with that otherwise the rear of the frame i've welded pipes in and uh I've ground over the welds and tried to see that there's not too many holes left in it. it it's pretty rough. Now, this part of the tube here is original. From there to there, I hadn't originally planned to remove that, but I found that the one from here to here, from this is where the original join, original cut was made, was all rotted out in the bottom there. So. I fabricated a new piece of tube, but just half of, and uh, I've uh, put a weld halfway along the seam there so I didn't have to upset the pipe inside this fitting. And uh, it seems to have uh, come together fairly well with a pretty chicken shit weld across here, halfway through the tube. So I don't know how strong any of this will be. It's got to be better than what it was. Uh, but uh, never as good as the original uh, chrome molly tube that obviously the front's all made out of. If it was just mild steel, I think I wouldn't have had too much trouble twisting it back and with a bit of heat and things to uh, get it close. But uh, no, that's, that's where I'm at with it at this stage. I'm uh, going to uh, get the pipe bender out and bend up a couple more bends for here and then try and work out how to, how to flatten the ends of the tubes out to join these ones in like the originals were. You can see in this light one of the cuts there that I've made to get that frame to move sideways. It hasn't been tacked up yet. 
Okay, uh, I've put those short bits of tube in here, bits of rod in here to line those clevises up and so that will help jig it up for my welding. As I said, you probably and put that rod in before and one end would be 10 millimetres away from the hole and uh, I've rectified that now. Alright, I'll catch you later.